Now to start things off, if you've been thinking about getting a Wii U or if you want to get one, you might want to wait a little bit longer due to the simple fact that there's rumor has it that the price is going to be going down on the Wii U sometime this year. And right now it's priced at $350, so if it goes down it's probably going to be right at $300. And because of that it's going to be very competitive against the PS3 and Xbox 360 just because they're the same price. And why pay the same price for older hardware? You know, it's really a no-brainer. The only thing that'd be better is just game titles. But if the Wii U has something to offer as far as games go, then why not get it? And also, if you already have one or if you're planning to get one, then you'll be very excited to hear this. There are a lot of games that are going to be coming on the Wii U. Now, a couple of months ago, they did announce that they were going to be remaking some Zelda games onto the Wii U. But they didn't say which ones. And I personally thought it was going to be Four Swords just because they've already made more than one version of it, so why not just make another? And what they've decided to remake this year is Wind Waker. Now, I'm really excited to hear this, and I know some people hate that game just because that game kind of changed the series up quite a bit, but they have released some screenshots, and i got to say it's looking very, very good. And I'm really excited for this, and I was thinking about getting a Wii U already, but this just gives me another great reason to get one. And also, for those of you that are big Mario fans, they're going to be bringing some Mario games to the Wii U. And not quite so soon, but they are going to be announcing them later this year. There's going to be Mario Kart, there's going to be Super Mario Brothers, there's going to be Mario World, and there's going to be Super Smash Brothers. So that's, i got to say, that's a lot of Mario games just to start with. And I'm really, really excited. They're probably going to wait for Super Smash Brothers years later, just because that's the main big hit that everyone loves on Nintendo systems, and they're probably going to wait till later so then they can get more people into it. And I gotta say, after hearing all this stuff about Nintendo, my main question is, when is Metroid gonna be coming out, you know? Metroid Th Prime 3 Corruption came out on the Wii quite a while ago, but I'm really excited to hear one coming out on the Wii U, because I really want to see some great graphics on a game like that. Now, you've probably already heard of this, but THQ has went bankrupt. Now... As far as the game titles go and everything, the rights have been, are being put up for auction right now, and a few of them have already been bought. Now, Sega has bought the rights to Company of Heroes and Warhammer series. Koch Media, known as the people that brought you Dead Island, have gotten the rights to Saints Row and the Metro series. Now, Crytek, known as the people that brought you Crisis series of games, have gotten the rights to Homefront and Ubisoft. Of course, they've brought you the Assassin's Creed series of games. I've gotten the rights to the South Park game coming out. Now, i got to say, after talking about this and thinking about it, um, i got one big question when it comes to this. Is Did they already know of this? I mean, people did see signs that THQ was going to be going bye-bye, but um, does it have to do with the sales that was going on on Steam? Because there was a lot of sales going on on Steam, and it's kind of funny, just the simple fact that all the collection sales which is pretty much collections of games from a specific you know developer or series were being on sale like some crazy stuff you know like Bethesda had the Elder Scrolls series all for sale for one price and Ubisoft had all of their games being on sale for one price and it's funny because all these companies their games were on sale you know um, Ubisoft was selling all the Assassin's Creed and other games on sale for a great price and Sega was doing the same thing. Did they know that THQ was going to be put out of business? And if so, they were probably notified early, and they decided to sell these games. And if so, did Steam know about it? I mean, obviously, I would say there's certainly something going on. Um, some of the other companies, I don't know how they fit into this, you know, such as Bethesda, unless they're planning to buy another series, which at this point, I would probably hope Darksiders, just because Darksiders is an RPG game, and Bethesda Softworks is well known for their great and awesome RPG games. So, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Gamers with Reason, and I will see you guys in the next video.